Well, the Autumn Stakes is next in. This is a Group 3 for two-year-olds over a mile. And the top one is Lucifer for Paul O'Neill. Rourke's Drift, Joshua Sutherland, Will Performer for Steve Rand. Woodward Jacko, James Shea, Mortified Paul Rhodes, Pose Riley for David Robertson, Rosie Mary Murphy for Craig Allen and Songbird for Dan Hughes. So eight of them then in this Group 3. A lot of two-year-old group races this week, and they're all in. And away they go. Looks like a pretty level break. Let's see who's going to take them into the lead through the first furlong or so, and it looks like it might be Rourke's Drift right over on the far side, but Mortified. Looks like it would be Mortified if it didn't get the lead. So Mortified is going to take them on then, it would seem. Now can up the inside, Lucifer is there as well, so will Performer, but it's Rourke's Drift that's actually gone across to the fence, and has covered the first two furlongs and is now in the lead. So Rourke's Drift then, by a couple of lengths, to Mortified in second, then Lucifer is in third place, then comes will Performer after that one, and then Pose Riley, Woodward Jacko is leading the back three of Rose and Mary Murphy and Songbird. So Rourke's Drift then is in the lead by a couple of lengths to Lucifer in the blue and green, in the blue and green, the red and green in second. Then Mortified is third, then comes Pose Riley in fourth, and then a gap back to the back three are all in the line. But Rourke's Drift is taking them along at a pretty good pace and as they come down towards the final three and a half furlongs. And Rourke's Drift is in the lead, Mortified Jockey just takes a tug on that one. Then comes Lucifer, Will Performer is there as well. And then a little bit of a gap back to Songbird, but it's now Lucifer is coming through to take it up. Lucifer's in the lead from Rourke's Drift and Will Performer. Then comes um well, there's a horse disappeared here. Uh, Pose Riley has completely disappeared, so I don't know what's going on there. But it's Lucifer in the lead from Mortified, and then Rourke's Drift. <laughs> Pose Riley is apparently in fourth or fifth, but they're coming inside the final furlong now, then. And it's Pose Riley's taking the lead. We've got an invisible horse who's going to win this race. Oh, this is incredible. Racing up towards the line, the invisible Pose Riley looks like it's going to win. I don't know what's going to No, we'll perform. No, Woodbridge Jack. Oh, goodness me, who knows what won that. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, that's, um, that was interesting. <laughs> Glanced up to the top left hand corner just to see because I was convinced there was supposed to be a David Robertson horse. There is, it's finished second. Um, apologies to the uh, the trainer of the winner for not calling you a winner properly, but Woodbury Jacko's won it for James Shea from the invisible pose riding in second for David Robertson. Will Performer for Steve Rand was third. Rosie Mary Murphy for. Craig Allen was fourth and mortified for Paul Rhodes was fifth. <laughs> How did the person that ran the race not notice that? <laughs> oh dear.